Hi everyone, in the front of me I've got Infinix Smart 8 and let me share with you how to add the fingerprint to this device. So let's start with opening the settings. Let's tap on them and here we have to scroll and find password and security. Then let's tap on the fingerprint and before we'll be able to set the fingerprint we have to uh, apply the, um, the regular screen lock. If you've got one you will be just transferred to another step, if not you really have to do it right now. Because if for some reason the fingerprint sensor won't work then you will still be able to unlock your, um, unlock your device. So let's tap on set screen lock, it's up to you which option you prefer. So let me quickly do it. Oh, okay. And that's the notification content. So basically just um, decide which one you'd like to use and tap on done. And now we can tap on add fingerprint. And as you can see, we've got the instructions. So the fingerprint sensor is located on the power button of this device on the right side, right here. So all we have to do is to put our finger on it and uh, add it. So let's tap on next. And now we have to put our finger on the sensor multiple times in order to add our fingerprint fully. Let me, okay, it will be a little bit easier. Of course, I believe it will be much, much easier for you to simply um, add your thumb instead of the index finger, but obviously up to you. Okay, there we've got it. So uh, simply tap on finish. And this is the fingerprint we just added. We can rename it or remove it. Um, we can view enrolled fingers, fingers so we can um, check all the, all the fingerprints we've got added. Uh, if you're not sure which one is which, you can simply put your finger on the sensor and your device will highlight which one it is. Uh, here you can decide for what you want to use the fingerprint for. We've got also the scenes application, so you can, for example, accept the call with the fingerprint. Or, and um, there you've got the method of unlocking the screen, so you can either touch the fingerprint sensor or touch and press the power button. It's up to you. I think personally that this option at the top is much, much easier to use. All right, so let me quickly lock the device and let me quickly unlock it. And as you can see, the uh, fingerprint works perfectly fine. All right, so that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.